must attend to urgent matters. Yes. Mouse Act is dead, though. We have mutual friends? You might say so. My former poker partner, Mouse Sack, mentioned you. It has been a while since we last met. I play. So we might sit down to a game sometime. We could indeed play. They say you're clever. Let's see. Yes. you think of the Scoia'tael? I'm uninterested in political conflicts. The druids prevail because we possess nothing that kings covet. They, in turn, know we pose no threat to their power. They may disapprove of you sheltering Scoia'tael. We help all those in need as long as they respect our customs. The elves respect and understand nature. And humans do not. No. Not all, sadly. Rivers near cities are befouled with waste. Once great forests are logged without restraint. Animals that once thrived have become scarce. I see. Yes. Farewell. <laughs> Windblade. What are you doing here? Why aren't you with your elves? The Droids Grove acts as a sanctuary where I can quietly think, lay plans. My going to Vizima presents an unnecessary risk. Part of the unit inside Vizima is accomplishing plenty. Why do you hate humans so much, Yavin? <laughs> Why? I assume you don't mean ideology and the like, and you would rather hear some dark secret from deep within my soul. You assume correctly. I'll answer your question if you answer mine. Okay. Agreed. I once lived in a city among humans. I was honest and courteous, respected all their ridiculous customs and laws, 
assimilation. I lived that word for years, and during that time I was cheated, sneered at, on occasion beaten and robbed. I felt no hatred for humans. In fact, I felt better than them. I told myself they were simply incapable of controlling their weaknesses, their flaws. I was robbed three times as often as others. Racist slogans were painted on my door in excrement. For years I wondered why. Was I doing something wrong? What could I do to bring peace to my life? And you know what I came to understand? No, but I'm sure you'll tell me. I was doing nothing wrong. I'd been lying to myself from the outset. Just as the moon will never catch the sun, so humans will never change. They will remain egotistical, envious, petty and fearful of anything they don't understand. And believe me, there's plenty. Matters proceeded quickly thereafter. But that's another story. Now you resemble humans. No, Geralt, definitely not. And you, Witcher? Who are you? You too have experienced human ignorance and hatred. I'm as much an outcast as you, Yaven. I see your point, but have no interest in torching human villages. I'm glad you understand, White Wolf. Any jobs? Have any jobs for me? I have a mission for you. One not entirely related to the struggle for freedom. Yaven cut to the chase. We have learned that the ruins of an elven temple have been found in the sewers beneath Vizima. Not surprising, given the city was erected on elven foundations. We think Lara Dora may have been there, and may have left something behind. Who? You will learn everything if you agree to help. I sent a unit there, but I fear something has gone wrong. I need you to find out what happened. I'll see what I can do. Wonderful. I'd be interested to hear about Lara. Lara Doran. Ep Shirdal was an elven sorceress. An N7. A knowing one. She carried Hen Ikir. Elder blood. Which puzzles even us elves. As fate would have it, Lara fell in love with a human sorcerer. Kregenon of Lod. Other humans could not bear it and began persecuting them. They became outcasts, shunned by all around them. No pleas would soften the stone hearts of the cruel and merciless Duan. When Lara, begging mercy not for her but for her unborn child, grabbed the door of the royal carriage, at the king's behest a man-at-arms lashed out with his cutlass, severing her fingers. She fled the city, sought shelter in a forest. When night descended and the frosts came, Lara faded on a hill amidst the trees. She gave birth to a daughter whom she protected with what warmth remained in her waning body. Though a blizzard raged through the night, spring suddenly appeared on that hill, and Fenewed bloomed. Now those flowers grow only in Dol Blathana, and where Lara breathed her last. You must understand the importance of any artifacts. She was exceptional, someone whose loss defies words no matter what the language. Farewell. Yes.
have any knockdown.
Swallows, I got a dog that don't look good at all. I got one left. Shit. I got re get all my fucking campfire things. That's some bullshit.
I used all my shit.
Time I'm making three. I don't give a fuck.
Challenge the Salamandra!
You look pale. Can't you eat? I'm hungry again.